With all the media buzz surrounding NVIDIA's brand spanking new 12 nanometer RTX 20 series Turing graphics cards over the past couple weeks, a similarly exciting news story about the Radeon side has seemingly flown under the radar. <laughs> Last week, the company confirmed in a press release, and later President and CEO Dr. Elisa Su confirmed in an interview with MarketWatch that AMD is in fact on track to launch the world's first 7 nanometer graphics card this year. While the world's first 7 nanometer CPUs built on the company's next generation Zen 2 x86 64 bit cores are on track to be on shelves next year. That's what we're waiting for on this bad boy back here. This is what AMD had to say on the matter. AMD's next major milestone is the introduction of our upcoming 7 nanometer product portfolio, including the initial products with our second generation Zen 2 CPU core and our new Navi GPU architecture. We've already taped out multiple 7 nanometer products at TSMC, including our first 7 nanometer GPU, planned to launch later this year, and our first 7 nanometer server CPU that we plan to launch in 2019. The company had already demonstrated working 7 nanometer GPU silicon back in June at Computex, which has been sampled since and is set to be available for purchase later this year. Based on an improved iteration of the Vega architecture which debuted last year, 7 nanometer Vega is nothing short of a beast. The new GPU support intrinsic AI instructions and features four HBM2. While the company hasn't disclosed specifications relating to the new GPU, we could reasonably expect around one terabyte of memory bandwidth, higher clock speeds, and significantly better if power efficiency thanks to TSMC's leading edge seven nanometer process technology which has reportedly enabled the company to extract an unbelievable 20.9 teraflops of graphics compute out of 7 nanometer Vega, according to one source. If true, it would make the world's first 20 teflop GPU. Now, CEO Dr. Su had confirmed at the same event in June that AMD will in fact be bringing 7 nanometer GPUs to gamers although she didn't provide any additional de details, and this has led to speculations of whether 7 nanometer Vega will actually ever make it to the gaming market, or if gamers will have to wait until the company's successor, codenamed Navi, is released next year. The red team has very clearly been keeping its cards very close to its chest, and if 7 nanometer Vega is all it's cracked up to be, we might see them surprise us with an ace or two later this year. So if you'd like to dig in a little deeper on this, feel free to hit the link down in the description below. There will also be a link in that description to the giveaway that we're running with Cooler Master. Just a, you know, a couple weeks left on that one. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed so that we don't miss you in the next one.